Shadi ji, uh, if we have like if we have done something uh, which um, because of our like uh, because of our own mistake, like if we have hurt somebody and now we are in that same in in that guilt that how can we rectify this mistake done by us like. Um, and plus, we are also seeking for the forgiveness of whomsoever we have hurt. So, how can we make that up right with ourselves? Because every point of day, that thing pinches in ourselves that whatever we have done, we are not able to make it right now. And it could never be corrected. So. Mm. There was this fellow. He was drunk and he was driving his car. Hmm? He was drunk and he was driving his car. So he was driving, driving, driving. She was driving, driving, driving. And she brushed a fellow along the way, which is bound to happen because you are drunk. So she brushed him and he fell down. Probably got hurt. And she kept driving, driving, driving. And having gone four kilometers ahead, it dawned upon her that I have hurt someone and I must compensate for my mistake. So she took a U-turn and the fellow had now gotten up, <laughs> somehow dressed his wounds and was somehow pulling himself along and now she comes <laughs> to ask forgiveness but who is she she is the same fellow who hurt him in the first place she's still the same drunken one now she comes she comes and she says a big sorry and thumbs him thumbs him again if you are the same in spite of your good intentions, your actions will remain the same. First time you hit him because you were ignorant and drunk. The second time you hit him because you were repentant and drunk. What is common between the two states? You are still drunk. In the name of repentance, in the name of forgiveness, you will only cause more harm to the other. No, you must forgive me, otherwise I will slap you <laughs> very hard. I am seeking forgiveness, don't you see? But you are still the same fellow who hurt him in the first place in her anger or ignorance or whatever. Hmm? How can we rectify that? Rectify yourself. Don't rectify a particular action of yours. Rectify the actor herself. Hmm? Your action does not come from a vacuum randomly. It arises from yourself. what you have turned yourself to be. Be right, you will do right. And if you are not right, then all your good intentions will keep falling flat. Hmm? Clear? Now, having seen that she has thumped him again, she starts pleading for mercy from the High Lord. And this time, she realizes that it is all the fault of the vehicle. <laughs> this vehicle is jinxed. It hit the same poor fellow twice. So she keeps the car aside and picks up an ambulance. After all, the fellow is hurt. The fellow is in need of medical care. 
Last time he could somehow gather himself and get up and start walking. This time he is just lying on the road and he is bleeding. He can't even get up. And she is full of mercy and pity and repentance. But now it's the big ambulance. It's not a small car. It's a mini truck. And the fellow needs urgent help. So now she drives even more swiftly and rushes towards the fellow and he's lying in the middle of the road. And she's so full of help. And the truck is big and is rushing at 100 miles per hour. The rest is up to you. <laughs> The ambulance is coming for help. The ambulance is meant to help. And she is full of love, overflowing with mercy and pity for the 